Welcome back to another video. This is Code Forces from 903D3, and we're gonna solve the F problem that is minimum maximum distance. So let's see what the problem states. So we have like n vertices here, and some of which are called as marked. Okay, so this marked word is very important, and they are just uh, specifically telling what a tree is. A tree is not having any cycles, and it is a connected and directed graph. Okay. So now let, this is important. Now let Fi denote the maximum distance from vertex i to any of the marked vertex. Marked vertex in the visual form, it is like represented in red color and the non-marked are white color. They are telling Fi denote means uh, it's like an FRA. Maximum distance from vertex i to any of the vertex. So vertex i means these are generally all the vertex that is covered. What is the maximum distance? So let's try to figure out. They have already given the F uh, array. How did they generate it? Let's understand this. So let's consider the first vertex. For the first vertex, in order to reach the maximum uh, distant uh, marked vertex is what? Two is also a distant marked vertex. So with a distance of one, but six is having a distant of two. That's how you got two. Or seven is also having a distant of two through one. So that's how you got two for the first node. Now, let's consider a case where it is for node 2. Where is node 2 in this case? Node 2 is somewhere here, right? This one. Even though this is marked, I need to find the farthest marked node. So for 2, I'll go for the farthest marked. Farthest marked is what? 1, 2 and 3. It can be 7 also, but 3 is the distance. And that's how you got 2. Now let's consider for one more example. Let's take for three, you got like two, but let's for four, let's say, what is the node? So for four, we are getting a marked vertex as two, but we are uh, with a distance of one, but we have to find the highest value. So what you do, you go through here two, and distance is three here, and distance is four here. This one also four, this one also four. So in order to reach from this four to the farthest marked vertex, it is the distance of four, and that's how you got this four. Like this, you have to generate for all the nodes and put it in the F, F array. And out of this maximum, you need to find what is the minimum value. Here the minimum value is this two and this two, right? How did we get it? We generated all the maximums and they are telling for node one and three, it is minimum. So what, what happened for node one and three? Let's see. So for one, the maximum distance is one and two. For three, the maximum distance is, it did not take six and seven. For three, it took the path of one and reached to two. That is the maximum distance. So uh, two is the minimum out of all the maximums. So that's all we found out. Now, what is the brute force way we will think? Okay, what we'll do is we'll uh, take for each node and perform a DFS or BFS. And uh, like, for example, for one, I will put a BFS, right? I'll put the adjacent nodes and I mark this as one. This is at height one, this is at height two. Now I go through all the marked vertex and see who is having the largest distance. Now six and seven is having the largest distance, so I put two. So similarly, I go for all the matrix, all the vertices, not matrix, all the vertices, then uh, put it in the array. But the problem is the constraints can go till 10 power 5. If we do this, definitely we'll get time limit exceeded. So we need to optimize this solution by checking some pattern or something should be there. One thing that we know is we have to do some kind of traversal uh, to get the distance, right? So it can be DFS or BFS. What is the first thing that we observe? So from the, with this example, we observe that if I take something that is like a leaf node that is uh, not contributing like for example let's say that uh, for four through the path of four we have a marked vertex but we are not considering this marked vertex at all right we are only bothered about the farthest one if you take three also we are not considering the adjacent one we are just taking this one now let's see only for four for four we are taking the farthest only so if this is the maximum value that is possible four is contributing to this four right this answer may not be the minimum value because already four is the maximum value possible, right? One, two, three, four, because there is no other red color uh, marked vertex here. The red color marked vertex is very far. So we'll see, like, uh, let's say you are having a tree here. Uh, perhaps this is not a tree. Let's assume that there are many branches here. Okay, there are many branches. And uh, in the end, I am having something like uh, like some let's say these are all marked vertex okay so let's say this is a marked vertex this is a marked vertex and similarly uh, we also have a 
uh, marked vertex here. So there are many trees like it's like a, this tree. Okay, I'm just telling these are the leaf nodes. Now, there are many uh, things here. And if you have a leaf here, definitely this will be the maximum will be on the extreme right, right? If it is on the extreme left, this will be on the extreme right. This will be part of FRA, but it won't contribute to the minimum value. So we can rule out this. What will actually contribute to the minimum value? It will be somewhere between the two extreme red colors, right? For three, it is between seven and two. For one, it is between uh, two and six and seven, right? So these six and seven and two are the extreme red colors. So red, uh, red color marked vertex can be anywhere here. Okay, so if a node is here, so let's say uh, if a node is here, uh, a red color a red color marked vertex is here. This is also a minimum value, correct? But the problem is they are asking you what is the maximum. But this guy, this black color guy, uh, non marked vertex won't take this as the uh, maximum value. This guy will go all the way to the extreme right or all the way to the extreme left. So in this case, the contribution is only towards the extreme left and the extreme right. Got it? Whatever be the red color is, whatever be the marked vertex and non-marked vertex is there, only the uh, extreme left and the extreme right marked vertex will contribute to the final answer. That will be the minimum value. Now, how do you find the minimum value? The minimum value is very simple, right? We are just uh, finding the distance divided by two because if the distance is three, 3 divided by 2 is 1.5, you take the seal of it because uh, there exists a node which is having a distance of 2. There exists a node which is having a distance of 2. So that's how you got 2. If there is only one node, what happens if there is uh, only one node? Uh, this is having a distance of what? This is having a distance of 1 only. So if you do 1 uh, and the distance of this is 1, the total distance between both of them is 2. 2 by 2 is what? 1. So they are telling that, okay, I can reach a halfway and a node exists here. So in order to find a red color, it is just uh, one. That is the final answer. If you take floor of this, uh, it is the shortest uh, distance, but uh, three by two, 1.5 equal to two will be the highest distance. Maximum distance we need to record in the F array. And then out of this, we have to get the minimum value. Let's understand this with the help of uh, code. And uh, then let's revisit this. So what is the first thing that we do? We just uh, take all the marked vertices. In the marked vertices, we have two, six and seven, right? So marked have two, six and seven. These are all marked. Now three, uh, you are just making a tree here. This is a, uh, this is not having directional, right? And Un it's undirectional, bidirectional. So you are pushing it in both ways. That is one will in the one matrix, in the one uh, adjacency list, we have one will have a three and one will have two. Two will have one and two will have four and two will have five. So similarly, you just keep doing it, right? Uh, now three also will have like one and three will have six and seven. So similarly, we just build the tree. After building the tree, there is one more condition here. K equal to one, the answer is zero. That means what? Suppose, let's say this is the matrix here. Uh, sorry, this is the tree here. There is only one uh, uh, marked node. If there is only one marked node, for this, the maximum, the F value for the first and if this is one and this is two, the first value will be one because it is at a distance of one. But for the second one, I cannot find any other red color. Red color, I am a red color. I am a marked vertex. I cannot find any other marked vertex, right? So it is zero. So out of this, what is the minimum? It is the zero. So the uh, marked vertex, if there is only one marked vertex in the entire tree, we can say that the answer is directly zero. So that is the meaning of k equal to one is zero. Now, what do I do? I have to know the two extreme ends, right? I want to know what is the extreme ends marked vertex. Let's see. So I am just randomly passing a node and uh, passing the tree and performing a BFS. So if I am passing one here, I'll get the maximum uh, either leftmost or rightmost, the maximum uh, farthest uh, marked vertex will get. So in this case, six and seven distance marked vertex will get. So what do I do? I just uh, put one here. I just uh, distance will get and the parent will be, it's just like a Q, right? So how does BFS work? The code you can just try out. So for one, who whom will I push? I'll push three, I'll push two, 
that's all so 3 is at a distance of 1 and 2 is at a distance of 1 now i'll iterate through 3 3 uh, children are what 6 and 7 6 is at a distance of 2 7 is at a distance of 2 i all i'm just telling that okay these are the numbers and similarly this gets popped out one also gets popped out already now we'll take for 2 2 will have 4 and 5 4 and 5 will have a distance that is parent distance 1 plus 1 that is 2 and 5 also will have a distance of 2 now we got all the distance right 3 have 1 2 have 1 4 have 2 5 have 2 6 have 2 everything we got now what do i do i got the distance uh, array out of the distance array i want to know who is the first farthest marked so what do I do? I go through all the marked elements. I go through 2, 6 and 7. These are the marked elements. And I already know the distance of 2, 6 and 7 as uh, from 1, what is the distance? 2 is 1 and 6 and 7 it's 2. So I make sure I'll take one of the farthest value. Definitely the uh, farthest distance will be at the extreme left or the extreme right. So 6 and 7, I'll take one of the uh, 6 or 7 and then take one of the farthest uh, uh, like marked vertex and then do a BFS again, find farthest matrix and find a BFS again. Why? If I found uh, one of the farthest matrix, through that I'm able to find uh, the other one. If it's right side, I'm able to find the leftmost element. So for six, what will be the BFS? In Through BFS, we know that uh, three is having one, this is having distance two, this is having distance two, and this is having distance three, this is having distance four, distance five. Now I'll go through all the marked vertex. So marked vertex, since this is the parent, I know it's zero. So seven is having two and three, two is having three. So I understood that the maximum distance value is what? Two is the marked vertex. So I know that two uh, is having a distance of three, two is the marked vertex. So I got two in this case, the maximum value here, that is distance. Now what do I do? I just have to do like maximum plus one by two. So I got first I found out that six or seven anything this is the maximum value that is uh, here and for this one this is the maximum value here I'm just once I get it on the second time I'm able to get the highest uh, maximum value that is the leftmost element I'm getting the distance you just divide it by two three by two is 1.5 and I'm just taking the seal three by two is uh, 3 plus 1 by 2 that is just the seal format instead of writing seal of uh, maxi by 2 you can write like maxi plus 1 by 2 so uh, this is the solution that is given like if you have any doubts please let me know in the comments I know it's uh, pretty tricky uh, try out with pen and paper it will be much easier so this is the solution link so what did we do again let's uh, revisit it so we already have a tree that is given we have to get the maximum uh, minimum distance that is generated through f we understood that if we take any leaf node that is passing through v1 like v1 is a marked vertex means it will have a very large value that may not contribute to the final answer so we understood that the minimum value in case if it is between them the nearby reds are not matter only the extreme uh, marked vertex matters so we just have to know who are all the extreme marked vertex so it is like a diameter of a tree so diameter of a tree means what it is like from leftmost leaf to rightmost leaf right that is diameter in this case it is modified like leftmost uh, marked vertex to rightmost marked vertex then if you divide by two you will get the uh, distance if you take the seal of it how did you get uh, to get one of the extreme uh, marked vertex we just randomly take one number pass it through the bfs algorithm we'll get one of the marked vertex now pass that marked vertex again and keep on going traversal until you find the other marked vertex you will get a distance between both of them now if once you get the distance between both of them you divide it by two now you will be able to find the seal and then the answer will be there that's all guys thank you so much